Welcome back to the MLG Play 2000 series. Coming up next, we have Unite Gaming versus Team Envious in what looks like to be the best matchup so far of the afternoon. Yeah, I mean, it probably has a chance to be one of the best matchups of our whole afternoon, even including the rest of the series. We don't know how that bracket's going to lay out, but, you know, I'm really, I'm really pumped up for this game. Really. All right, so keep in mind, both teams, they're using some fill-ins for this tournament. So for Unite, you got Saints filling in for Parasite. And for Envy, you got Fizzer filling in for Merc. Yeah, and I mean, you know, uh, the Fizzer for Merc thing, it, it could come out to help Envy's mm -hmm. hardpoint game a little bit. You know, Merc's still adjusting to that more aggressive submachine gun role. And for Unite, it'll be interesting because Parasite's one of their leaders, you know, telling mm -hmm. them how to play a little bit. Not how to play, but like where to be and what to do. You know, he's not afraid to kind of dictate the people where to go and what to do. So it'll be interesting to see who takes charge for Unite. Yeah, Parasite is not afraid to be vocal during the game. If he wants you in a certain position, he's going to tell he'll you to you be know, there. Yeah. And not only that, he adds so much versatility to this team, being able to be an aggressive sub, a passive sub, an aggressive AR, an anchor AR. Right. He can do so much, and he adds a lot to this team. Yeah, I think we'll see Nameless take on that role. You know, Killer runs an AR too, but it's mostly an AN. It's not really an mm -hmm. M8. So if you're going to have somebody rotating and trying to switch off anchor, you'd most likely want him to be an M8. And, you know, Aim Nameless has a great M8 as well. Nameless actually used to anchor back when, I think, Quantic? even for Unite, anchored a little bit for Quantic. But yeah. he's used to playing that role, and he knows how to play it pretty darn well. So if Ricky's strong at any point in the game. Ricky could also bring out an aggressive submachine gun, and he right. could use that. And then on the other side, you also have Envy with Fizzer. They really don't, you really don't have to see Karma too much pushing for the hills. He can play more of like, I mean, he'll, he'll like go he used for, to on impact. Yeah, yeah, he'll go for the hills on impact. I mean, that was one thing that they said a lot about him, that he really didn't play for the hill, but he plays for the hill a lot because he gets tons of streaks, and if you're going to get streaks, you got to play for the hill. Yeah, especially when you're able to juggle it constantly, you know, just getting that 325 point swings with the kill, that gives you a 125, yeah. and then Plus 200 for the capture points, not a bad trade at the end of the day. But Karma, I feel like he's best when he's able just to do his own thing. Just send Karma out. Yeah. He's a man on a mission, and he could guarantee you like 30, 35 kills a yeah, game. Yeah, and he has such amazing timing. I mean, I've seen it countless times where his team will have the hill, and he'll be kind of slaying around it, and then the other team will push into the hill, and he always comes from the perfect angle and picks up two guys or three guys coming into the hill for the other team, and he acquires streaks instantly that way. And it's not even just hard point he's good at. I mean, capture the flag. I've seen games where he's dropped 24 kills in the first half yeah. of, a, of a CTF game, and in search and destroy, his sniper shot, it's second to none. Him and Rambo just work angles together with the sniper. Yeah, I mean, Karma's just an amazing player overall. I mean, it, he's, he's a complete player. Yeah, he's a complete player. You know, that's what you really like to see at. You know, he's not just strong in one area. He's strong in every area. He can run an AR. He can run a sub. He can snipe. He's good at capture the flight. He's good at everything. And, you know, too, I'm going to be looking for Proofy this game. You know, Proofy against Rookie. I mean, Proofy's got an amazing shot, mm -hmm. but we'll see how his positioning plays as a real anchor. So I got to ask you, what are your predictions for this matchup? Who's going to take it? I think Envy's going to take it 2-1. Two one, so we're we're going to map three. I think we're gonna go to map three. Tweet at us. Let us know who you think is gonna win this match. My Twitter is at RevanJB. He's at C O L Mr underscore X. You can find him easily. Just search Mr X. I'm sure he'll pop up yeah, there. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of the. How many, how many followers are you at these days? I'll tell you right now. You're gonna check. I'll tell you right now. I keep trying to get you more. I think you you're should be at at least twenty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. I'm at ten point eight. 10.8. That's not enough. Let's get Mr. X to 11,000 followers. Yeah. And then, do we have any GB one month to give away? Yeah, we got some GB codes to give away. So, hmm. I'm trying like to think of this. a fair way. Like, I can't just say follow Mr. X and, and I'll give win. you a code. Yeah. How about tweet at Mr. X with your prediction on who's going to take the series? There you go. So, tweet at him. Hashtag MLG as well. So, we could easily track your tweet. And then, if you guess right, you could have a chance to win a one-month Game Pass Premium code. And then we'll pick somebody completely at random. Yeah, so we got Ron in the back. He can do that in just one second. All he's got to do is click this, click and that, it'll click pick that. someone. And then he goes, hey, here's the name. And then we announce it. And, and then everyone you get a one month, get, you yeah. get one month Game Pass Premium code. And then who, everyone who doesn't get it gets angry at us. But right. get angry at only one. There can it's only Ron. be one. <laughs> Yeah, there can only be one winner, though. So I'm looking at the game. Everybody's in the lobby. It looks like the first map, it's going to be standoff hard point. So we were talking about these two teams early on and how they match up. Envy, they have stronger assault rifles. Unite, stronger submachine guns. And I think this is the map where your submachine and guns shine. Yeah, absolutely. The submachine guns do shine on this map. This is one of the maps that 
it's mostly submachine gun dominant. But another thing that I'm going to be looking out for is that we see Envy run a ton of trophy systems, mm -hmm. right? We don't see Unite run a lot of tacticals. They they re they were running extreme conditioning that whole game in Yemen. So it'll be interesting to see if Envy will catch on to the fact that they aren't really getting spam with tacticals, and they take away those trophy systems and using that can it be effective. Yeah, so if Unite Gaming, if they recognize that, you know, Envy, they're using a crap ton of trophy systems. Yeah. I'm going to just pull out my three attachment class. I'm going to pull out my very greedy perk class. You mm -hmm. know, I'm only going to have lightweight with extreme conditioning, dexterity, and, you know, just try to counter the extra trophy systems from Envy. Yeah, and you know, but it, it's something that we see in Unite. They, they don't really run a lot of tacticals. That's one of, like, their main things. I mean, Ricky runs double trophies, and then occasionally they'll run a uh, danger close class with double grenades. But we don't see a lot of EMPs or stuns from them. So it'll be interesting to see if Envy knows that or realizes that. I mean, maybe with Fizzert, because Fizzert plays a lot with uh, Nameless and Killers, so he knows how they play. All right, we'll see how these two teams decide to counter one another or even play some mind games. Little I would love game to action, see yeah. Envy one game instead of stacking trophies. What if they stack lethals or stack tacticals? That's it, yeah. I mean, I I'm sure there are teams out there that are doing a ton of research on Envy because they're going to be evolving their hardpoint game over the next couple of weeks to try to prepare for their upcoming tournaments. So they might test out some new strategies. So a lot of teams might be watching them and be like, all right. So right now they're using a lot of trophy systems. So they might make their classes specifically to combat Envy. Right. And then what if they just come out just unloading tacticals and lethals on you? What are you going to do? Because you're not preparing against Envy by stacking trophies again. No, yeah, you're not going to use really trophies against Envy mm -hmm. because they don't throw tacticals, so you might yeah. not have the classes ready for that. So it'll be interesting to see how they use this. But the first map, it has loaded. Never mind, the host has ended the game. Maybe somebody's got These the rules. wrong class set or something, but I think the rules are right. Maybe just wrong class Now, set. I didn't get your prediction. Who do you think is going to win this? Hmm. I, I think Envy. Unite will take the hard point. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what the search and destroy is, but I think... I think it's going to be 2-0 Unite. Really? Yeah. I think Envy's actually going to take this hard point. You think so? Yeah. But, uh, I mean, Fizzurp does add a lot in terms of the aggressive submachine gun, so I think he's going to be helping out Rambo a lot. I think it's going to come down to Karma. If Karma's able to pick up the kills outside the hard point, yeah. then Envy's going to have an easier time on this point. Oh, yeah. I mean, if, if Karma's Karma, that also helps Proofy do what Proofy mm -hmm. does, too, because that allows Karma puts so much pressure on the other team that it makes everybody around him better. I mean, if you're going up against Envy, who do you focus on shutting down? I think you gotta shut down Karma. Because we've, se we've seen a lot where Proofy will have a good game and they'll still lose. So, you know, it's really, I mean, if, if Karma has a good game, Proofy will most likely have a good game too because mm -hmm. he's taking so much pressure off Proofy on that anchor hole. And I mean, if Proofy's able to pick up easy kills and on top of the kills he's already gonna get, it's just, it's too much. And on the other side of things, who do you stop from Unite Gaming? Right now, I mean, you have to stop Saints. I mean, stop after Saints. what we've seen, you have to stop Saints. I mean, he's just on a tear. I feel like if you put a lot of pressure on Ricky and try to get him a little bit nervous, that might be a, a good avenue to look into. Yeah, that's a good avenue too, you know, because teams get extremely frustrated when they don't have spawns. Mm -hmm. When your subs don't have spawns, they get extremely frustrated and flustered. And, you know, it, it just creates uh, a little tension between teammates. And I mean, that could always determine the outcome of a game. All right, but here you go. The map, it's starting for real, guys. Unite Gaming versus Team Envious, and someone out there is not watching this stream. So I want you guys to tweet the stream, MajorLeagueGaming.com, yes. but the player we got to start off with, it's going to be Fizzer. Why? He's got a shotty in his hands. Yeah, you know, he had the shotgun. I don't know if he still has it. Oh, uh, no. Uh, he well, he's got a class with it. But he's got a class with it, so it'll be interesting to see if we take it, see him take that out later in the game. Solid shots from Fizzle off the start, taking out Nameless, and then Ricky currently on a two kills three, but his team has got taken out inside the hard point, so this is going to be a good situation for Fizzle. But he didn't get the capture points. If he did, he'd be super close to score streaks already. Yeah, but you know, I really like that play, though, out of Fizzurp. I mean, he was super patient. I mean, he got that kill, and, you know, he didn't run in there right away. He watched back alley because you can't let those guys flank back alley to get those new spawns. The one thing I guess I don't like about Fizzurp's gameplay is his score yeah. streak usage. As soon as he gets something along the lines of a Hellstorm or a Lightning Strike, like, he'll be inside the hard point, earn a Lightning Strike, and then a second later, you'll see him on that tablet calling him in. Yeah. But I think that playing with Rambo, He's going to be a lot more patient with his usage of those streaks. Right, I was going to say, I mean, if Fizzard lets Ray know he has streaks, Ray's such a smart player that, I mean, he'll 
he'll pretty much dictate how the streaks are going to be used. And Hard he's he's one of the smarter players we have, right? And here come Unite Gaming. They're going to stack Elwa on Wood to try to push their green hard point, but kills have been made in favor of Team Envious. Saints was the only one to pick up kills in rotation for Unite Gaming, but here comes Lamus on a three kills where he does get taken out inside the hard point, hopping back on board with Saints here. As now it's going to be Unite Gaming with control of the hard point. You see the Envious members, they are spawning quite far away from that hard point. Yeah, and I mean, you know, right now they're spawning way far out from the hard point, but you know, they still have Fizzer over there causing some damage, oh. and he was so close to streaks. I mean, those streaks are so important, especially on this map. Like, great place from Unite Gaming to hold that down. And Ricky, he had a summon streak on his hands there, so he did some damage inside the hard point, and now he's one kill away from streaks. Finds one cross map at Satchi, but he might get chopped from Rambo in the back, and he does pick up the kill, earns a Hellstar missile for his team, but now it's all about those rotation kills. However, Rambo, he's in a tough position because he could get picked up by Ricky here, and now Ricky is fully streaked out. I mean, that's huge for Unite. I mean, Ricky not only, he got his streaks there, but he also all held them off about an extra 20 seconds on that hard point. So it'll be interesting to see if that time comes back to to mm. pay dividends for Unite. As soon as Ricky earns the lightning strike, calls it in, call, use the Hellstorm as well. And here comes the Sentry Gun. So within 15 seconds of earning these streaks, they're all gone. Yeah, you know, that's uh, that'll be another interesting thing to see to monitor later in the game, you know. I mean, right now they're Sentry's already gone as well. Yeah, and, I mean, I, I, that actually might have been Killa who actually took it out because he EMP'd out over the wall, so I think he might have actually taken out Ricky Sentry. Friendly Fire not working out there, but Ricky, he's on an eight kills for right now, so he's finding lots of kills around the map, and Unite Gaming, they've secured themselves around a 60-point lead. Envious, they're going to give up on this current hard point, and Unite, they recognize that very early on. They're going to make a good push here. Yeah, I mean, they're going to make a strong push here, and if you're Envy, you need to hold on to this hard point because you gave up so early and you rotated and you gave so much time on the last one. It's so important to get time on this one. And you see the Envy players there starting to spawn out on the map. Now it's going to be Unite Gaming. And the least favorable spawn is actually Rambo inside the hardpoint for Team Envious. So they're able to stop the first push for yeah. Unite Gaming. But Envy, they need a good amount of time on this hardpoint to try to come back into this game. I mean, those were three huge kills right there. I mean, I think there was one from Proofy, one from Ray, and one from Karma where it, the, the hard point was just about to pop, the new one, and they got three kills, which spawned Unite all the way outside of Grandma. And look, I mean, we already have 30 seconds left on the hard point. This is the first push that does Unite Does get contested. Oh, here goes Rambo, finds one, takes out kill, but he's forced to back down to Nuolo. Now, he does have a grenade in his uh, equipment slot ready to throw. I'm surprised he didn't try to zone them out at the door, either force him to jump back or challenge inside the hard point. But right now, it's all proofy. He's got all his score streaks ready to use, and Envy, they've gotten a good chunk of time on this hard point. Oh, I mean, Envy got a full chunk of time on this hard point. That's exactly what you wanted out of that. And they held it down perfectly because, you know, when Unites went all the way outside of Grandma, it literally took them 30 full seconds to get over there, and they really only made one push on that hill. I mean, Ricky, he does break in there, get some capture points, but... You know, Something really significant in the end. Now, Proof, he's going to use his lightning strike on the middle hard point. I would have much rather him seen him use a Hellstorm missile here. Hellstorm, yeah, I think the Hellstorm's definitely better for the middle. And, you know, Killage is running in there causing chaos with a shotgun, but Proof, is just on a roll right now. 10 kills for him. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to switch off with him, but now he's got a summon shield gun in his hands. And Proof, he's been practicing his SMG shot and how to play around the map with the subs, so... He could go off with any gun at this moment in the game. You know, I, I, I've seen him use a sub often, and he is so, he's so good with it. And, you know, I mean, I, he might not just feel comfortable with the routes that he runs. or I mean, that'll come with time, but I think he can definitely become a dominant sub if he wants to. And now you see Proofy is going to bring out the Fast Hands Trophy class to try to give his sentry gun some support here. So EMPs won't be that effective. But in Hardpoint, you're able to get a lot of respawns. So you get a lot of chances to throw out those EMPs at it. But it's going to be killing inside the Hardpoint for Unite Game. They still have around a 30-point lead. But Proofy getting taken out. No trophy systems able to be set up over near the sentry gun. But it looks like Proof delayed his spawn in time to give his sentry gun some extra life there. Yeah, I mean, that's a smart play out of Proofy right there. You see Karma running a shotgun too now, taking over the hill. And, you know, this is a great comeback from Envy. I believe they were down 98 to 30 something or 20 something. Yeah, they were down by, what was it, like 60 points at one time. Yeah, and I mean, it just shows that if you rotate early, and you get control of those hills that you know you can hold tons of time on, that you can make a comeback really easily. And here you go, Proof. He's starting to heat up one more time on a four kill streak right now, entering the hard point to give Fizzer some support, watching his back. So, saving Fizz, and he's got a, already has a Hellstrom missile to use, and I'm surprised he doesn't throw down these trophy systems. Instead, he's going to pick up these rotation kills. Yeah, I mean, these rotation kills are huge, Ooh. and he 
didn't get any. I mean, that's just really unfortunate right there. You know, the player was using that roof of that mid building to, to their advantage to kind of hide. However, Unite Gaming, they are infamous for being able to shoot down those Hellstorm missiles hard right out of sky, but I think it's actually Parasite who's the player who's the best at doing that, and they're not playing with him here. Yeah, Parasite's one of the first players I actually saw do that, to shoot down those Hellstorms. I mean, he's extremely good at it. I've seen him do it uh, dozens of times. And it'll be interesting to see. We, you got to get a good push from Envy right here if they're going to try and break this. And they got to go together. It's one of the things. If you're going to run up these staircases or try and jump in the front jump by yourself, I mean, you're just going to feed the other team streaks. What do you think about jumping through the side window from back alley if you climb up on that little shed? Yeah. Or jumping through the window? You like doing that? You know, I like that play if you have somebody running up the stairs at the same time. Mm -hmm. If you can get some action going Draws up the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. And, and even just jump over there and just kind of force that guy to fight two guys, I think that's an extremely difficult position for the guy in the hill. And we were playing league play a bit before this on this map, and there's a corner inside the hallway that a you lot of people die. like to go, but no one really checks it. Yeah, no, nobody really checks it, and it's extremely interesting why nobody does not and, you know, right now, Fizzum could actually pick up some streaks if, if you were to look into the back, you know, they spawn right there if you're going to take control of that hill every time, and you can just spawn kill and get those streaks right out that window. Yeah, and Karma won the rotation for Team Envy, so he got a grenade and a shotgun kill. Now he's in a great position to put pressure onto the boxes. They're going to try to push in, but luckily he's got Flakjack. It gets taken out in the meantime, and now Unite Gaming, just like that, they're able to break the hard point. Envy, they're going to be pushing into the package side of the map. Yeah, you know, it's not too bad of a situation for Envy. You're only down 20 seconds. Uh, and, you know, they don't have streaks for Unite, so right now they really just can't feed streaks. You still have two minutes and 30 seconds left, and you got to make two or three strong pushes. But on this hard point, Revan, how do you like to break this hill? I like to stack hay bales, actually. If you're able to get to hay bales, get somebody in the top red while pushing through the side door. I mean, just letting the other team think that, you know, somebody could be up top. They could do so much mental damage for the other team. I mean, they got to look in so many different locations, and that can mean the difference between breaking the hill and not. Oh, absolutely. I think I think if you can get three guys at hay and maybe one guy going around the other way to put spot pressure on packages, because if that guy can get to mid-street, you can spawn them pretty far out by grandma. That's how you kind of force that spawn. So, And then if you get a guy up top, like you said, it puts so much pressure on the other team. And this is a big hard point for Envy. They need just about every single second here to try to make this a game. There are 90 seconds remaining, and Unite Gaming, they couldn't potentially win on this hard point. Fizzer trying to lead the way with a shock, and now here comes Karma. Didn't clean up the call on the Nameless, and he pays for it right there. But in the meantime, you see Ricky starting to heat up. He's close to his source streets. Nameless was fairly close as well, but Ricky's the guy to watch right now. He's putting shots into all the players from Team Envious, but he's just about out of ammo here. Yeah, I mean, right now you can see uh, Ricky is just dominating this hill. I mean, he's just... Oh, let's see. Is he going to get a kill right here? You know, he was just dominating the mid-street oh, wow. right there, which is... Oh, that's that's a nice play. But, you know, he was just dominating the mid-street right there, and he made it almost impossible for Envy to get any time, even get near the hill. And it is mathematically impossible, Mr. X. Unite Gaming, they're going to take map number one in the best of three series against Team Envious and the MLG play 2K. So, good start for Unite Gaming, but I kind of expected them to win this hard part. I'm sure a lot of people did there, but... Search and Destroy is where these two Titans are going to clash. Yeah, Search and Destroy is going to be really fun to watch between these two teams. You know, I'm a little bit shocked that Envy didn't win because they had score streak control pretty timeline. much the whole time. I, I believe I didn't see anyone with streaks from Unite the whole game. I mean, Proof had a great game, 28-19. and 19. I mean, that's what you look for in an anchor player to not die. And, you know, 19 deaths, it's the least amount on the team. But, I mean, I'm even adding up the total kills, it looks like both teams, they're rather even. It, yeah, it just looks even. like more, a couple more defends in favor of Unite Gaming won than that game. Yeah, I mean, those kills on the hill mean everything. Like, we, we talk about a lot. The, like, there are pointless kills, and then there are kill, they're meaningful Yeah, there are only kills. so many kills around the map. Right, yeah. And, I mean, if you can get those meaningful kills, the kills that determine, I mean, streaks and time and... You know, those, you, those are, you can win out games and you can win games and be out slayed if you get those meaningful kills. Unite Gaming come out strong in map number one against Team Envious. Keep tweeting out the stream, guys. MajorLeagueGaming.com is where you're going to find the best action for the MLG Play 2K series. But stay tuned because we're going to see map number two between Unite and Team Envious coming up after this quick commercial break.